John, the, the key is that we want to make this long term, but however, we have to build our business model. That's the most important thing here. You know, ownership is committed to a point, but you know, we're losing money, and as an owner, and I'm still a part owner here, as you wonder how much longer you want to keep writing checks to keep hockey alive in Springfield. A tremendous tradition here in, in Springfield, but we need to grow our attendance. And there's no threats. Uh, the, I'm not making threats. I'm just making a simple fact. Ownership group's committed, but by going by one year, it's basically stating, come on, folks, support us, get out, make this, uh, make this part of your routine to come to some hockey games. We'll do our job of trying to put a better product on the ice, and we'll grow attendance. If we can grow attendance and get it where it needs to be, Ownership will be here for a long period of time. There's no money to be made in this business. It's just getting it to where you're not writing checks all year long to keep hockey alive. So one year fits into the business model for us right now. It fits into what Columbus wanted. Uh, and, it, and, and we're hoping that this is going to turn into a long-term deal. But we've had multi-year deals that we've ended before they've come to a conclusion. So we're taking a little different approach. It's one year at a time. That's what we've committed. And we'll build off of that one year. Why, why has it worked in Hershey? Obviously, there's nothing else to do in Hershey besides well, eat chocolate. I, I don't know. That's a good point. I think what you have in Hershey is you have a community that's really committed and loyal to the, the Hershey Bears Hockey Club. And I use them as a reference point because why not set the bar high? Why compare ourselves to somebody that isn't, you know, at the top of the, and, and we can be there. We're not going to draw 10,000 people. We don't have a big enough building. But if they can do 5,500 season tickets, why can't we do 2,500 season tickets? Uh, we're a bigger market. And uh, they, they even I did some records, uh, checked some records in 2003 and 2004. They didn't make the playoffs. They still had a 5,000 season ticket base. So, you know, we need to build our season ticket base because that that helps you through those through those off days you have. Uh, we're not playing all Fridays and Saturdays anymore. Our league is different. It's uh, we're playing a lot more midweeks and Sunday games. We have to find ways to get people in the building on those dates, and that comes with building your season ticket base. The only other question I have for you is, for those of us who have been here for 100 years and have watched you speak, this is probably the closest to an emotional Bruce Landon that there's been. What has this whole thing dealt you with? Well, the, the last year, as is, is my staff will know, last year has been stressful to say the least. Uh, you know, getting a lease done, uh, knowing Edmonton was leaving, uh, dealing with ownership issues to making sure they were committed. Uh, it's been a stressful year, and, and those of you who know me, I you know I put my heart and soul in this, and I have since forever. I'm 33 years I've been in this business, and uh, this is emotional for me because I want to see this continue, and I believe that this can continue, and, and I think my ownership group does as well. But again, I have to put my business hat on at times and say it's not going to continue if we can't get the attendance back up yeah. where it needs to be. And we don't need to be 5,000 average. We need to get up over 4,000. And that's, you know, if we can't get up over 4,000, then do we really deserve a team here? And, and I have to be realistic because teams that are not doing 30, 4,000 or more, you're just not making it. And, uh, you know, it, 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 as I started to say, it's more, it's more than just wins and losses. It's we're a big part of this community, and we want to continue to be it. And, yeah, I'm emotional because this is my life, and I love it, and uh, I want to be in it for a little bit longer. Uh, but it's up to, up to the people in this community to support us, and we need to give them a better product. Okay. Checks to keep it here. If we can get attendance where it's a, a reasonable number that we see some light at the end of the tunnel, uh, certainly we're going to be here long term, Fran. And that's our goal. That's my goal. That's Joe. That's everybody in the ownership group. But on the other hand, as business people, we got to look at it from a business perspective. And if we're only if if we give them a good product and we're still bumping along at 35, 36, 3700, right. it's got to tell you something. You need the economy to turn around. Well, I think the economy's turning. I think that's part of it. But I think you know, there's other cities that are doing four and five thousand. Why can't we? And I use, as I said, I use the Hershey Bears as an example because they're the model for us all to aspire to be. And we will never be the Hershey Bears in some ways, but you know what? We should be able to get more people in the buildings more consistently than we're doing. And I think a lot of it has to come with putting a better product in the ice, but it goes beyond that as well. What do you like about Columbus? Well, I like, first of all, the relationship with Chris and Scott, two young guys who I'm on the same page with. I'm older than them, but uh, but they understand. I mean, they've had some good success in Syracuse. Last couple, last this year has been a little bit difficult, but there's no guarantees in this business. They've got some good young kids. I believe we're going to be a younger team. Or we're going to put some veterans in here, but you know, having veterans has not been the answer. It's having good young players that can develop. You see them develop by Christmas time. They're impact players. Uh, I think working with Columbus, we're going to see a younger team. We're going to see a team that's going to address our concerns and address them quickly. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to working with both Chris and Scott. Good.